eLearning Channel, Museum. Holiday season is here. So today, we're going to learn some Christmas song. Since winter is here and all the outside is covered with the snow, let's play Winter Wonderland. Oh, I know some of you are in the summer season. However, enjoy your Christmas with the song. Let's see how it goes. Now, if you look at the bottom bass, this is the chord. What is the chord? Now, let's see. We don't know the middle note, so we don't know. It's major or minor, but at least we know. This is a seventh chord. Major seventh chord. So C can be major seventh or minor seventh. But if we're looking at the top, the right hand, right hand playing E instead of E flat. So this will be C major seventh chord. Okay? So left hand is major seventh. And stepping up, what is it? D seventh chord. But this is coming whole step down. D seventh, just D seven. And then the next chord is the seventh chord but is coming from E to whole step down. So it's gonna be E seventh chord. And the next one is everything just half step down. So you go to E flat, B flat, D flat. How you do is you just from E, B, D to slide down. That's how you play it. consists of four chords, C major 7th chord, and D 7th chord, E 7th chord, and E flat 7th chord, that's it, and coming to D again, so you just stepping off, and step down, that's all you have, and basically you just keep repeating the left hand, so if you remember this position, be much easier to play. Now let's see the right hand. Right hand starts with G, but use finger number three because we have to go up higher. So you start with the G and it's in complete measure, which is pick up beat, start on four speed. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Rest, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, up to here. Now, some of you may ask, why we don't start with finger number five instead of three? You can start with the five, but if you start with the five, you have to use the weakest finger, which is four and five. Then it's really hard to bring it out the melody line. That's why I think it's easier to start with finger number and you bring it up the melody line and then you switch later like this and also in second measure you will see the syncopated rhythm pattern which we learned last time right what is it eighth note followed by daddy the quarter note the rhythm goes short long short long right so So if you remember this rhythm and position, then it will be easy to play. If you play in a regular rhythm, it should be okay. Problem is when you play it, this music in swing rhythm. So for now, we'll just go slow and play it in both hands together in regular rhythm pattern as it is. Okay, so right hand starts on G, left hand on C major seventh chord. One, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, left and G, four, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, Now, the rhythm is kind of tricky, right? Because 
some of the rhythm now coming on the beat, but it's off the beat. Just like last week I explained it, right? So if we go from the measure four, pick up beat, which is G, one, two. Do you remember the rhythm? Short, long. Because it's eighth note followed by the quarter note. Just difference is you have so many notes to play it. So you have to practice this part. Like this. Got it? So one, two, left hand three, four. Your G is coming after four, not on the four. Why? Because fourth bit is on the rest, right before the G. So three, four. So play right after four. And then if we go one, two, three, four, again the same thing. Whenever you see this last eighth note, it's coming right after four. Then it should be easier to remember. Then the next rhythm is you just slide it down to the F. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. This one is you play right after two so one two three four this one is not after four but on the four why because you have two eighth note if there is rest right before then you will play it off the four and it repeats back again but instead in your left hand you will play twice instead of once okay so now let's go the same place. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two. repeating the same part but the difference is you have left hand repeating and the confusing part is maybe see this one what are you gonna do one two three four one two three four that's tied so one two three four one two three four remember that way I guess it's easier to practice instead of counting one two so this part, practice eighth note as one count. So one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. If you practice that way, it should be easier. Got it? Then let's move it on the same way. We will give eighth note as one count. But this time it will be slower than before. Now let's go. One, two, three, go. B, B, G, G, and C sharp. F and A. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. because of the rhythm and there's so many sharps and so many notes played together. So practice like eighth note is one count and if you can play it well then count one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Just like count as a two, grouping it two. Then sometimes it's much easier. Now if we move it on to the next part, it's pretty much the same 
as the previous one, just like first part. So right hand is D sharp and G, and left hand is G. One, one, two, three, four, one, two, and shift it down. gonna do one two one two so three note in one count one two three one two three one two three one two three so one two three four so this is one of most confusing part because of the rhythm change from triplet to duple means two note at one count and another quarter so you have all the rhythm variation so one two three Four. One, two, three, four. The rhythm is pretty tricky. I will play slow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Got it? So if we play it fast. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is the same rhythm but in different notes. But it's pretty confusing. So practice this part a couple of times and we'll run to the next one. So which is D chord and C E on the right hand. So one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. That's how it goes. So last part, if we give her as eighth note as one count, then it's easier. So for the last part, group the notes from the C to G, A, B, C. You go all the way to G to C, and the right hand goes G to C again. And then E, F, F sharp, G, C, D, D sharp, E. So this is a pattern. one with the swing rhythm. Now I would play a whole entire song in regular tempo and as I play just feel the rhythm. Okay? One, two, three, four.
you feel comfortable playing it in this rhythm, then play it with the swing. Swing means whenever you see the eighth note, you play a long short, like faster version of dotted quarter note with followed by the eighth note. So long short, long short, long short, long short. Instead of most often in jazz music or in swing music too. Now I would play it in swing rhythm with a slow tempo. One, two, three. short and which note to play it fast. Basically the first one is longer and the second one is shorter. It's one, two, one, two. So it goes short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. Got it? If you don't know, just first practice the right hand melody only. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then it should be easier. And for pedal, you should change every part. Left hand. So after you play and lift it up, play and lift it up, change. Play, lift it up, change. Change. So you have to change every chord. What if you have two notes? The same thing, repeat it. If you play at the same chord, then that's fine. Lift it up. And then one. You see? So basically your pedal follows your left hand. So if you have trouble playing with pedal, then practice with your left hand and pedal by itself. Then put it both hands together. Then it should be okay. How do you like the song? It's really fun, right? Especially when you play with the swing rhythm, it sounds more exciting. And also the major seventh chord making sound more interesting too. So in this lesson, we learn all the seventh chord and also swing rhythm. It's gonna take a couple of weeks to play a swing rhythm, so don't worry about it. Just practice as it is, and when you can play it well, 
then just do step by step. Got it? And I will see you next week with more interesting Christmas music. And I hope you stay warm and well. And bye!